Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Cosmic. And in this video, we'll be testing out Spider Man back to basics uniform at level 70 in Alliance Battle Extreme and see how well he performs in that game mode. So let's get into the details page real quick. I have max attack speed, quick rate critical damage almost kept, uh, max ignore defense and skill cooldown and dodge rage. You guys will notice that the physical attack is at 39,000. Yeah, 39,000 uh, physical attack, and that is because the gears are almost at level 30. But I did test him out at level 17 with his gears at level 25. So basically, the attack stat was not at 40,000, it was uh, around 34,000 uh, physical attack, around there. Uh, for the gears, they were all at level 25. I am upgrading them right now because I'm getting my Spider Man to tier 4, but they were all at 25. The Urus have not been changed. I still maintain a, uh, what you call it, five legendary physical attack Uru and one mythic physical attack Uru and one strike Odin's blessing. The skills are all at level six. The type enhancement is at rank four. The ice weight set is still at stage six Hawksai. The artifact is uh, four star, increased by level one. It has no PvE value in it, so it's a 4-star artifact. And I have a mighty CTP of Greed. Yes, I tested him out in a mighty CTP of Greed because trying to see if he can compete in both PvE and PvP with a hybrid build. And the uniform is at normal. Let's go to the cards real quick. I have 81% all attack increase. 3% physical attack increase and 11% peace damage. With that being said, guys, let's jump out in Alliance Battle Extreme and see how well a level 70 Spider Man back to basics uniform perform in that game mode. Oh. 
All right, guys. So you guys could see he was able to give me about 5.5 million in Alliance Battle Extreme. Uh, honestly, that is not good, uh, considering the fact that um, he has like buffs towards super villain, like on his tier two passive, he has that 60% damage decrease towards super villain, and he has a double support with Nick Fury and White Fox. Uh, honestly, it's not really good uh, for Spider-Man, to be completely honest with you. Uh, it doesn't seem like he can go both PvE and PvP at the same time with the same build. It doesn't seem like he has a hybrid build. And I highly doubt that if I give him a CTP of Rage, that he will go over 8 million or something like that. Just for instance, yeah, if you guys watch my old videos back with Immortal, uh, not Immortal Hulk, excuse me, with the Hulk Fear itself, a Hulk at level 70 with a CTP of regeneration was able to give me 8 million in the lines of Alex stream. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not good looking for Spider-Man to be completely honest. I'm kind of disappointed with the result that I got with him in Alliance Battle Extreme, but he does seem to be very good in World Boss Legend, and he does seem to be extremely strong for PvP, uh, but th then again, in PvP, he's like really, really fragile, so you kind of want to give him a mighty CTP of Authority or maybe a mighty CTP of Regen, perhaps. Yeah. Um... Would not recommend to use this uniform in Alliance Battle Extreme if that's what you're thinking of doing, to be completely honest. If you want to buy this uniform, chances are you're just going to end up using him for PvP. <clears throat> PvP is the game mode where he seems to be dominating the most out of all the other game modes, uh, even in World Boss Legend. Uh, it seems like he's made for that game, for PvP, to be completely honest, with all the kit that he has. You know, the guaranteed dodge rate, the invincibility, ignore targeting effect on him. Uh, yeah. Spider-Man, <sighs> not so good in Alliance Battle Extreme. Really not so good. Kind of disappointed. Really was hoping for him to improve a little bit with this new uniform in Alliance Battle Extreme. But apparently it is not the case with him. So yeah. Um, uh, but we will test him out again in Lice Battle Extreme at level 80 and see if the level 80 bump was any different or not. Uh, I've also done the pre-recording for his testing at level 80. I'm not gonna reveal uh, the results, obviously, but I tested him out at level 80, uh, with his gears at level 25. They were not at level 30 yet, so I'm just saying. Um, uh, but yeah, at level 70 seems really disappointing in Alliance Battle Extreme, to be completely honest. Even if I give him this proxy DP, which is basically increased damage dealt to combat, blasts, universal or speed types by 150%. Yes, I'm very disappointed with this result in Alliance Battle Extreme. However, we will test him out again at level 80 this time around, and we'll see if the level 80 bump was any different. But until that happens, we're just gonna wrap this up right here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share so we'll have the channel grow. And hit the notification ring bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos that I'll be posting on this channel. And join my Discord server if you wish to discuss with me about the character, the uniform, his build, the rotation, all the kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.